What's up, everybody? Welcome to day 17 of the Squad Builder Showdown Advent Calendar. Today, we are doing it on World Cup Phenom Jude Bellingham, and we are joined by Scrooge himself. It is Atani. How are we doing? I'm doing good, mate. How are you doing? One week away from Christmas. Well, eight days away from Christmas. It'll be one week away from Christmas when we're on your channel, which yep. is very exciting. What's on your Christmas list? Beating you. All right, Santa can't work miracles, mate. Come on. Let's not get too ridiculous. What's that thing? What color dragon would you like? <laughs> Wait, what's your Chinese sign? What's... Oh, that is so random. What's my Chinese sign? Because you said dragon, so I'm like wondering. Yeah, because it's that famous Christmas joke, isn't it? Where it's like a little girl goes to see Santa and Santa goes, what do you want for Christmas, little girl? And the girl goes, I want a dragon. And Santa says, come on. Make it more realistic. And she goes, okay, I want Everton to win the league. And Santa goes, what color dragon would you like? <laughs> What's my Chinese star sign? How do I work that out? Chinese star sign, June 93. I'm a rooster, mate. <laughs> you know what mine is. doodle do. <laughs> you know what mine is. Rat. No, close. Rabbit. Snake. Rabbit. <laughs> As if you're not a snake or a rat. Listen, at least I'm not a sheep. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you're not a snake. <laughs> what do you think about the World Cup so far? I think it's been quite good. It's actually, I tweeted a funny meme and it was a grumpy kid on the couch. And the caption was like, watching the World Cup when you said guaranteed any World Cup in winter would be so bad. And it's actually insane. And he's like sitting on the couch, grumpy, trying not to enjoy it. But it's actually been insane. It's so weird that the season is about to carry on. Like we've had half a season and it's going to start again on yeah. Boxing Day. That's bizarre. But the World Cup itself has been mad. Yeah. The World Cup has been amazing. I think it would have been better if it was in summer. Like it, exactly yeah. the same, but in summer it would have been better. But... The World Cup itself, like the actual event, has been probably one of the best in recent re in, in recent times. Do you think some of it is because it's mid-season and the games, the players are more comp not not more competitive mentally, but they haven't played a full season, so they aren't as tired? Do you reckon that could be a thing? It could be. They're like in peak fitness. Just because of um, how long it's taken to have international football again, sort of thing. Other than the Euros, Maybe. got delayed a year as well. So yeah, I do. I like the World Cup. I like the Euros. The National League can get in the bin. International friendlies can get in the bin, stopping yeah. the season for that's terrible. Yeah. But England are winning the World Cup, which is a very bold thing to say because we're filming this before England have played France. Yeah, what's your prediction for that? Like, let's be realistic. I know you want them to win, but what do you think is actually going to be the score? Because I think Mbappe has only not scored in one match. True. So he's like super in form right now. <laughs> but he's going to go in Kyle Walker's pocket, mate. I mean, so look at that Kyle Walker's performance against some of the Senegal players. I don't know they're, that's so, you know. Because he was not that great in that match. No, France lost to Denmark. But Mbappe wasn't playing in that match, I think, because it, they didn't, it didn't matter. Like, they were already qualified at that time. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I'm going, like, way back. Oh, and then okay. they beat Australia. This is before the World Cup. They lost to Denmark as, like, a warm-up game, I think. I'm just not going to But then they beat Australia. Then they beat Denmark in the World Cup. They lost to Morocco, to Tunisia, sorry, wasn't it? But Tunisia didn't go through and France were already through and they were just playing like prop. They had Komen playing up front and like players whose names I don't even know. Mm. I, I think the Poland game was actually, it seems silly to say that it was close when they won 3-1. But for a large portion of the game, it was cagey. Like Poland are doing well. Like, England are better than Poland. So I think we can win, you know. I reckon... A KG 1-0 or 2-1. Yeah. I mean, Either way, by the way, I should say. Like, I believe England can win, but I think either way, it'll be like one goal in it. Un this, this is football, isn't it? This is predicting. Unless France go a goal ahead, it's the 80th minute. England have to try and get one back and Mbappe scores on the counter. So they have to try even harder to get two back and Mbappe scores on the counter. Do you know what I mean? Like something like That's that. That's the scary part, the counter attacks, because the yeah. centre-backs are all slow. So, especially Maguire, yeah. like, he, you could see him hey, struggling. Hey, mate, Harry Maguire played the tournaments, what are you talking about? <laughs> what a man. But you could see him struggling against some of the fastest Senegalese players in the last yeah. match, so. But he's got a Marcus Giroud, so it's fine. We'll see. I mean, Giroud's been good, so I don't even know. Better than Henry, ain't he? We'll see, though. It's going to be a, definitely an interesting match. I'm enjoying it. I am I'm looking forward to it. 
It is this evening for you guys who are wondering when we're recording this. We're recording like a week in advance to make sure, A, because I'm starting to get sick, so I can have a few days off if I do get sick, and B, just to make sure there's never any delays. Yesterday's one did go a bit late, but I couldn't upload during the Argentina-Netherlands game because that was crazy. I mean, I mean, yesterday in real life to me, that was madness. Did you see? This isn't going to be our Christmas debate, actually, because each day we're doing a little debate, Tony. First of all, actually, I'm going to ask you your formation so we can do a bit of a squad build show down. And what would you like? I would like the full 3 3. Interesting. I put 4 3 2 1. You can have it. <laughs> I'll have the same, mate. Why not? Wow. Year of the snake. <laughs> <laughs> I put the full variation, so. Nice. Nice. We've been doing Christmas debates instead of Christmas jokes and just stuff to talk about. Like you've already been asking me about the World Cup and stuff. I want to know, what do you think? This isn't going to be it. We'll have a Christmassy theme, Tom. But what do you think about the Argentina celebrations against the Netherlands after the penalty shootout yesterday? Did you see it? I did not see it, actually. Basically, when Argentina won, all of the players ran past the Netherlands players and were like, Way! and all stuff like this, and like mugging them off the fact that they just beat them in a penalty shootout while they yeah. were standing there gutted. So it went viral on Twitter, and everyone's crying about it, and saying how disrespectful Argentina were, and that it's really bad and unsportsmanlike and blah, 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 blah. However, what you didn't get to see in the TV shots and what has since been shown on people filming it in the stadium is that every time an Argentina player went to take a penalty, the Netherlands players were followed, because they all stand on the halfway line, don't they? Yeah. The Netherlands players were following him down the pitch and like hell and abuse on him while he was getting ready to go and take his pen. Mm. And Dumfries actually got sent off for it, which they didn't show on the TV during the penalty shootout. He got two yellow cards for doing it and got sent off. That's weird. I think the whole game, the referee was horrendous and both teams were like proper Did RC you see what Martinez said? About the referee? No. Do you want me to link you it? Go on. It's an interview. All right, go on, sir. Yeah, like the shit I was in that game was like off the scale from both teams. It was so bad. The referee was horrendous. But it's come out with Argentina looking terrible. Whereas actually, if someone was doing that to me during a penalty shootout and then I won the penalty shootout, I'd have probably done way worse. I, I linked you it. Let's have a look. It's the whole thing, basically. So we don't play the video in the in the video because we might get copyright strike. He's basically saying the ref was given everything for the Netherlands. There was 10 minutes of other time, which there was, which is a bit mental because I swear they curbed that and like... It went over that, that in the, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that was because of the celebrations and stuff yeah. as well, wasn't it? But the, we haven't had a 10 minutes injury time since like the group stages, like the start of the group stages. But yeah, that ref was mental. I feel like obviously each team's going to feel like they were the one that was aggrieved, whereas actually it was both of them and they were both shit and the ref was terrible just in general. And it was just a proper scrappy work. It was good for a neutral, wasn't it? I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> when was it Perez smashed the ball into the Netherlands dugout? I can't believe he didn't get yeah. sent off. <laughs> Absolute madness, and then Van Dyke runs over and goes boof and just flattens him. It's crazy, mate. It's the match they fought throughout the whole time, like it was crazy. Can't wait for some more in the next round, to be honest yeah. with you. It's well spicy, right? We've got our players, we've got our player, we've got our formations, we've got a lot to talk about still, Atani. But we usually smash through Squabble the shutdown. You must really be enjoying the World Cup for all the chitty chatting. Let's jump in, do the Strike a left wing, right wing. We've got the same formation. Yeah, literally. Yeah, and we can chat a little bit more and look more stupid because every prediction so far that I've made in Scrubble the Showdown when recording weeks in advance, all of them have been wrong. All of them. Here we go then, mate. Who do you want? All right. So, I'm going to go with my right mid first. I've had this guy in mind since getting him. Since and I getting got, him? Yeah, I got him for free, mate. Just doing some World Cup swaps. He goes by the name of Lee Dong John. Excuse me? You've got an objective player. Exactly, mate. In 2020, it's almost 2023, yeah. Atani. <laughs> Holy, okay. Striker's going to be no other than Smaller Eck. Wow. What, which one? The one I packed. Which one's that? The normal one. <laughs> wow, stinky. I was about to shout he's going all out. He's going Wait, how much half is he? out. He's probably like half a million, mate. He's going half out. <laughs> and now this part is a bit risky because there isn't that many to choose from. So I'll just go with Bernal. Fair enough. 
You probably ran him down, though. He's going off out. I was clever with my guess as Atani. And I wrote people who could play striker and left wing, left wing and right wing, right wing and striker. Which is Werner. But I put Rashford, Saka and Sterling. Oh! <laughs> Holy, we got away with that. You're a fake Englishman. <laughs> Go on. I would like Rashford. Okay. It's a bit of a bit of a risky one, but we're gonna go for it. I would like Anthony. His Man United teammate. Yeah. Terrible performance yesterday. Uh, people were saying that he was their best player, actually. His dive was horrendous. Yeah. <laughs> but he looked really dangerous, but he never quite ever got past Souza or made anything happen. He no. just looked really good whilst trying to get past him. Because yeah. he was doing all like fancy skills and stuff. So, like, even though Neymar scored yesterday, his performance was dead. Oh, as well. Neymar was so bad. Yeah. Like, he should have scored like two or three goals. Exactly. And cruised through easily. Yeah. Not good. And then up front, Jude Bellingham is currently touted as like the best young England player ever, which is very valid to be fair. He's unbelievable. However, however, I feel like people are forgetting someone. Remember the name, Atani? Wayne Rooney. Wow. I seen a video on Twitter yesterday and it was Wayne Rooney at the Euros in 2004 at 18 years old taking the piss out of France. Yeah. Patrick Vieira, Claude Makélélé, Zinedine Zidane, Thierry Henry, Pires, Galas, <laughs> two ramp like ridiculous France team and Wayne Rooney was just running rings around them just making them look stupid. Have you seen the clip of Wayne Rooney doing that podcast? where he's talking about turning up to Everton training and he got promoted to the first team when he was like 16. And he got there and he was like overawed because it's like these players that he'd grown up watching and he's a boy of Everton fan. He used to mm -hmm. go to all the games and now he's training with them. And he said it took him about a week and then he was just like, these are crap. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I, to be so fair, unexpected. he was a world class player, so. I think at one point he was the best player in the world. He was ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like, it's actually insane how good Rooney was. The thing is, he was around the same time as Drogba, and they were, like, very similar players, so... Yeah, Rooney was better than Drogba. You think? Yeah, way better. Not even close. R mate, Wayne Rooney was... Uh, the only English player to win the Ballon d'Or that I know of anyway is Michael Owen, isn't it? Yes. Wayne Rooney's better than Michael Owen. Okay. Like, he, he, it's, honestly, he's absolutely insane how good Rooney was. It's kind of mad. I, I don't think he... I think he fell off because he didn't quite look after... Or he fell off early. He didn't, it's not like, he, ah, you fell off, G. Not like one of them. He became fat. Yeah, he didn't look after himself as well as he could have and his playing style and how young he started as well. He worked so hard off the ball all of the time and he did that from when he was 16. So by the time he got to 28, he'd been playing professional football for like 12 years. Yeah. Whereas some people start at 22 and play until they're like 32. And that's only 10 years. What about Ronaldo, mate? Even Ronaldo, like, he currently doesn't have a club authority. So, like, but he's, what, he's like 36 or something like that now, 34. 38. He's 38? Yes. Cristiano Ronaldo's 38. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, he's not. He's 37. He's yeah, basically the but, same. He's but almost in, no, 38. No, in Feb, he's a 30. <laughs> that is crackers. Yeah, fair enough. But uh, anyway, Rooney could have... I think Rooney's, not that he could have been better, I think Rooney's legacy gets a bit disregarded because he didn't play at the highest level until he was like 33. Yeah. But when he was at his peak, basically the best player in the world. Absolutely insane. I guess it's only the fact that he was playing during the time of Messi and Ronaldo and stuff like that that he didn't win the Ballon d'Or. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, at that time, there was so much competition to for the Ballon d'Or, especially mm -hmm. with Messi and Ronaldo. I'm not sure if... Um, Benzema was even like he was just a support player for Ronaldo at that time even though he's won the Ballon d'Or now but yeah Wayne Rooney what a man alright I did not put any of those I put Davies Nabry and um, Thurum the new nice SPC nice I do do all the SPCs to be fair so I've gone English Prem and you've gone surprise surprise just the league that the card started in wow who would have ever thought that not you not me apparently no <laughs> I wrote down English players <laughs> touche Atani midfield midfield I'm just looking on my phone because James actually texts me a load of debates so 
let's do midfield and then we'll come back to it. Right then, in we go to the midfield, Atari. And today's Christmas debate is actually not very Christmassy in the end because I'm running out of Christmassy themed ones. So, I'm going to ask you one of the ones James suggested. Kind of based on this World Cup, because it's been so mad and we've had a lot of shocks and upsets and stuff like that. What's the biggest sporting upset ever? Ooh, that's actually a good one. Do you want me to give you one of my answers? It's, it's a hard question. Like, There's no actual answer to it, obviously. But it's fun to throw topics out there that could be. Whilst you have a think, do you want me to tell you mine? Go on. Michael Bisbing winning the UFC world title against Luke Rockhold. That is a good one. He did it on like two weeks notice at 37 with one eye, having already lost to Rockhold. Stepped in because this was like the only time he's ever going to get a title fight again. And won. What about Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> To be honest, uh, it's a hard question because... Leicester winning the league? That's a good one. But it's not an upset anymore because it was like, they were getting there, sort of thing. If that makes sense. It's not like it's a shock that happened, like the Saudi Arabia match earlier against Argentina. Yeah, against Argentina. Yeah. I get it, because it's not a one-off event. You're like, exactly. oh, Leicester could win the league. Oh, Leicester could win the league. Exactly. Oh, Leicester could win the league. Leicester won and the like, league. <laughs> yeah. No... All of a sudden, he didn't just win the league. I get what you're saying. So I think like an upset is more shocking to me. Is like again the Saudi game that happened. Um, I can't actually think on on the top of my head like any other shocking events that has happened. Sure, Leon Edwards knocking out Usman was a good one because he was getting battered as well. Yeah, that like, he was about to lose and then just head kicked him and won the title straight away. That was kind of mental. What about Deji? Your... What about Deji being Fuzzy Tube? So you're gonna say? <laughs> I mean, that was shocking. Just so you're because... gonna say what about Deji versus Floyd? Can't believe Floyd won. <laughs> no, but I'll tell you because Deji was on a losing streak at that time, and then he beats him. So that's another upset, I guess. But I don't know. It's a hard one. Let me know in the comments. I've obviously I've just thrown two MMA ones out there. Mm. When Anthony Joshua, the, uh, combat sports, I feel like it's the easiest. Not yeah. the easiest to do it, but it's like the... The more likely. Most likely to happen because a one punch can just change everything. Exactly. Whereas when you're playing footy and you have a shot, like that doesn't change the whole outcome of the game. Yeah. So when Anthony Joshua got knocked out by... Is it Andy Ruiz? I can't remember. I don't really watch boxing. I can't remember. That was pretty shocking, wasn't it? I don't watch boxing, so... Yeah, yeah, it is Andy Ruiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like combat sports are big ones. You could go shocks for, like, how crazy something is as well. So, like, Usain Bolt just obliterating the world record when he first did it. That could, that's, like, a shock, isn't it? It's not necessarily an upset. I'll tell you one that is actually, I, uh, like, a mass. It's not an upset, but it was a massive shock. Liverpool winning the Champions League. Yeah, when it was the AC Milan one. Exactly. Yeah, that, that was crazy. That, that was... It's not upset, but that was a shock with the comeback and everything. I mean, it was an upset. Did you see their yeah. team versus Milan's? Bloody hell. No, but it's just a scoreline and everything at Milan the time. Milan built their team yeah. by going on FIFA. <laughs> setting quality to icon. <laughs> and Liverpool built theirs by going gold, common, prem. <laughs> yeah, literally. And they won. Yeah, that was mental. So it doesn't answer the question as an upset, but the shock value the shock, was there. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. That's a good one. Because then you could go... If you're talking just sport and shocks, it well, in hindsight, it's not a big shock. But when Lance Armstrong got caught, that, like, shocked the world. I don't... I wasn't that shocked, but yeah. I mean, it's not actually shocking when you think about it. Like, everyone is cycling and cheating, really. But... When they took his Tour de France medals off him, they had to take, like, the six people below him as well, didn't he? And the seventh guy got it probably just because he didn't get caught rather than because he wasn't cheating as well. Yeah. Because you're all just cheating. Me getting shocked is like Will Smith smacking, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Back to combat sports. I was like, is that, is that scripted? I had to be, I was like, that has to be scripted or something. <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> right. Did that happen this year? I think so. Bates and Pac and Ronaldo, that was shocking. That was shocking. Because <laughs> I didn't think that existed, but yeah. <laughs> I'll have a think. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And let's grab some players, Atani. Do you want me to go first? 
I'll go first. Go on then. Oh, hang on. I've written down three, but we've got Bellingham. Let me rub one out. Wow. Oh, dear. He me almost cheated then. Woo! If you, go, if you go for the one I've just rubbed out now, I'm going to be so tilted. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go for a player that was actually one of the best players in the World Cup, Musiala. I think he has an inform. Definitely he does. try him out. He should have a Phenom. Surely he's going to come in Team 2 or the mini release or he something like that. He has to. Or EA or just... Even more off the head than we already know they are. Yes. All right. And the next one is a bit risky. Brent. Brandt? Yep. Have you got that tokens one? Wait, is he a token? He's a token, mate. Oh, well, I'm going to use him either way. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Stinky Squads. That would have been a sport and shock, wouldn't it? You having some, a two, <laughs> two objective cards in one team. <laughs> but nope, you've got 82 rated Brandt with 67 pace. Jude Bellingham, who is 800k on the line. And a goalie. Wow, you wrote him down. No, I wrote down Musiala, mate. Oh, I actually wanted to try him out because 90 dribbling. I was like, that looks pretty good. He's got the, the... Well, not got the record. He's second highest dribbles in a World Cup match ever, isn't he? He looks sick. Yeah, he's so good. That was one of the other questions James said. Who's the best young footballer of all time? Musiala, Bellingham's up there. Obviously, Mbappe winning the World Cup. Wayne Rooney. Messi. Yeah. Crazy. I'm going to give you an oxymoron. Okay. You're big. Smaller Rick. Excuse me? <laughs> you said you're big. I did say you're big, but you're not. But he's going to your team anyway. Is he Bundes? He's a Bundesliga goalie, mate. Did you just write big? You are big. Okay. Lovely. Who do you want? I'm going across the pond to the United States, baby. Wow. Okay. I'll have Aronson. Yep. And Rainer. Phenom. Wow. Okay. I did not write that. I mean, no one would have, to be fair. But yeah. Why is a World Cup Phenom? Terrible accent. I'm trying my best here, mate. Come on. Give me a break. Oh, yeah, you could have them. I put Bruno Gamera's. I thought you might yeah, use it. He's him. only 200k now. Yeah. <laughs> and Ericsson. <laughs> Just put it out there, by the way. Jamie Doherty has one up me. No longer can I be mocked for investing a million coin in regular Wijnaldum at the start of FIFA the other, like last year, year before, and losing 500, 600k. Because that man bought three Bruno Gimmerich at 800k and sold them for 200. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. A lot. And it's so hard to make coins in this year's FIFA, so... I lost 1.8 mil in extra time. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy, mate. Oh, dear. That is tragic. But I put Ericsson and Bruno, so you can have... Lovely. Lovely. This Phenom card design looks sick, by the way. I really like it. Yeah, it looks really nice. And I like that they've got dynamic images in their national kits as well. You're right, actually. You're right. Is it going to be the last time they can do that? Because it's the FIFA World Cup. Yeah, it's going to be, probably. Because it's, it's the UEFA Champions League, so in EA Sports FC, you can start the Champions League, surely. But it's mm. the FIFA World Cup. Like, are FIFA going to give them the World Cup when they're not buying the name and rights off them? That's going to be interesting. What is interesting is your big. Yes. Very interesting. Fullbacks? Let's do it. Into the fullbacks we go, then, Atani. Yep. You go first. I will do. I'm going to hit you with some Belgian. <sighs> Mounier. Mounier, mate. Yep. And Castan. That's it. That's it. You could have them. Use my special position change to get Castan across to left back. You could have them. I wrote Luke Shaw. And Frimpong. I was going to go Frimpong Malassia, but because Mounier is Dortmund. He gets full chem, whereas Frimpong wouldn't. He'd still need some chemistry. So yeah. I went with Mooney instead, just to be smart. All right. Good tactics. Belgium had a stinker as well, by the way, didn't he? Don't know what they were doing, employing Roberto Martinez. But anyway. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Go on. Gonna go with... 
Oh, this is... You've caught me out a couple of times now. Every, every, I think every time I've done one of these with you, you've always hit at least one player. And hitting the full banks is one of the most important positions, so... I don't know if I should go with who I want, or is that too obvious? Who do you want? I do want Hudson Odoi. I don't know how obvious that is because of the Bellingham English. Do I play it safe or do I go with Hudson Odoi? I'm just going to go Davies. Wow, okay. Where are you getting all these objective cards from, by the way? How could you go Hudson Odoi? I have him. You've been put. This World is Cup the biggest swaps. sport in shock. It's already <laughs> doing objectives. World Cup swaps, mate. I did the three times 84 times 20. Get anything good? Messi and uh, Rabiot, but nothing crazy. But it's more for fodder, so I could do icon picks and stuff like that. Fair. Who do you want on the right? All right, on the right. This is risky. You know what? I'm just going to go see less. I'm not risking it. Full Bundesliga. Because I'm a man I, with I, 59 defending. I wanted to go with Frimpong. Did you write him down? Nope. Oh, I have his team of the week as well. Put Kyle Walker, mate. <laughs> Wait, who did you put left back? Kinkapi. Oh, okay. I didn't think he'd have Hudson Odoi. <laughs> I am shook of. Well, I had. What about the other Bundesliga? I had him. The right winger. You did, but Hudson Odoi, you had to like go out of your way to get one. It whereas them, I've got some of the dynamic duo ones because you just sort of score goals. Some of them are obviously exactly, like yeah. Arnautovic and stuff, uh, yeah. SBCs. But like Giassi, he just scores some goals and he just gives you. And yeah. you're like, oh, well, I may as well put him in my team now and unlock Duncan as well. Yeah. So. Also, with the objective players, I started thinking about this series. I'm like, it kind of guarantees you a player, sort of. Yeah, you little snake. But then when it came down to it, I'm like, he might just write him down now. <laughs> just bottled it, didn't you? Just bottled it, mate. I could have both. You can have both. Let's move on. Center backs and goalie, the big ones. Here we are then, Atani. Yep. The big one. The scary one. The lose all your players <laughs> one. <laughs> it is it's actually quite scary. But I'm gonna go with are you ready? I'm ready, mate. Hincapi. The one I wrote down for left back. Yes. <laughs> I'm hoping that it put you out. Okay. Doesn't sound um, too good on your part. And a guy that goes by the name of Ben Sabaini. I hate to break it to you, Atani. Yeah. Be a big fat stinking cheat, mate. That's two special position changes. How? Left back. Do you mean left back? Yes, they're both left backs. I thought you were allowed. You're allowed one. So what happens now? Do I get a bronze? Well, no, I will let, just let you change it. All right, I'll change it then. I mean, you can have a bronze if you want. Yeah, you get a bronze, Atani. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just use the lit. Yeah. Manual Neuer. Oh my god. Well, good. Brilliant. Nice one. I thought we were in for a big sport and shock. I wrote down Tamori Kalulu Mignon. Nice. I could have had anyone. You're a little <laughs> snake, mate. Go on then. Full Bundesliga team, you little rat. <laughs> you joke. I might as well just change my Chinese star sign, mate, because of how many times you call me a rat. I'm going to have Laporte. He snaked me in the last time, in the last squabble of shirt on, by being extinct. So he best be available now, and I'm checking before I end up actually picking him up as I'm changing like you as well. Right, where is he? Put him like 400k. Yes, Laporte. De Gea. What about the last one? I, d I don't know. There's a lot of <laughs> eerie silence, to be honest with you. I need to pick someone who gets full chemistry. I think this guy is still one of the best centre-backs on the game. Thiago Silva, flashback. You could have them. Yes! Oh. Come on, okay. Who did you put? 
Kero? I was so close to putting him, but I couldn't get him on chemistry. You could. Oh, okay. I only need one prem today. So I could have gone Kera, then Sula, and Neuer or something like that. No, you could have went Kera, Ben White, Fabianski. But pick him Fabianski, you Who do you think I am? I mean... Is that what you wrote down? I did write that down because I thought that was wow, sneaky. Wow, you stink, mate. Two West Ham players, I thought that was sneaky enough, but you did not go that route. Fabianski. Do you think this is September? What about Ben White, mate? Ben White's quite good, to be fair. Yeah. He hasn't played at all, though, has he, in the World Cup? But he has that special cod, so... Yeah, Ben White hasn't played a single minute, as far as I can tell from flicking through the games. That's a rip. Even in the Wales game, when we were already through. But yeah, he's, he's, he's not injured. I'm pretty sure he's not injured. I honestly don't know what's going on, to be honest with you. I've watched so much football. There's been so many games. It's blowing my brain. But what I can say is that card is good on FIFA, and he hasn't played at all, and neither is Madison. Do you reckon we're going to see Madison against France today? I don't think we're going to see anyone new, to be honest. Just because Southgate thinks it's a winning formula, so he won't change much. This is true. And I guess he's going to keep the subs the same. Literally. As well as the ones that have been coming on. They have been, so I've, I don't think he's changed anything. I mean, why change it when it's working, I guess? Yeah. I think he changed Foden, that he started playing now. I don't know. Foden, did, yeah, Foden started one of the games, didn't he? Because yeah. everyone was going mad for him to start. Exactly. But then Rashford played insane when he's been coming on, and then he didn't start, and... It's going to be interesting. Like, do you reckon... I think if one thing changes, it might be that Rashford starts. I'm more worried about defence than attacking, to be honest. <laughs> uh, uh, fair. Yeah, fair. John Stones has been so good, though. Harry Maguire has been, like, player of the tournament, which is mad because it's Harry Maguire. The thing is, I agree with everything, except we haven't faced a good nation. That's the problem, so I don't know. Until we actually face a good attack, I don't know how good the defenders are. Yeah. Fair. The thing Iran, is, we Wales, played USA, Senegal. Yeah. yeah, like, we're facing world-class attackers now. So it's going to be interesting to see what these defenders do against them. Before, we're facing average or just about on the average. Yeah, Senegal didn't have Mane. If they had Mane, it would have been an interesting test. Exactly. Fair. I'm excited just to see what happens, to be honest with you. But I'm also excited to discard your players, Atani. Let's get into a game. Here we go. Good luck. Wayne Rooney, masterclass incoming, mate. Oh, it's Bellingham, mate. Oh, the save of kidding. dreams. It's Neuer, mate. It's A. Aronson. A. Aronson. A. Aronson. Oh, what you're kidding. Save. Mate, Bellingham's going all the way. Who are you tackling there? Bellingham! <laughs> wow. It's the best goal I've ever scored. Finesse shots at... Oh! Ooh. Go on, Rashford. <laughs> How have I been baited by that? <laughs> Man thinks finesse shots are good. They are. How was Neuer not even saving that? Finesse shots, mate. Was that a deflection? I can't even see if it was a deflection. Don't think it was, you know. Wow, <laughs> tramp goals against it's friends. Bellingham, mate. Why did he just do that? <laughs> no! <laughs> can't believe you're doing those celebrations as well. Good half that. I, for one, am very happy with my performance. To be honest, all over me. Can't really complain. Wow. Defense is shocking in this. Wow, <laughs> Trump goes against friends! <laughs> oh my god. Defense is literally not even there. <laughs> I moved him and everything and he still just completely missed the ball. <laughs> oh, you're joking. That's terrible defending. Come on, Andy. Who the hell's this guy? <laughs> what is going on? What a oh, save. Come on. Keeper. Oh. God, he's got literally no stamina. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Is the ultra attacking, mate? Oh my, how am I getting done for pace by a man with no st- <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> He's got no stamina! Ultra attacking, mate! It's actually so- t <laughs> Oh my god! Are you sure I'm the one that has no stamina? <laughs> how are you running- Oh, my Moonie has got no stamina either. No way. No way. <laughs> Five, seven, are you messing? The ultra attacking. I had 21 shots. <laughs> Seven five. That's crazy. That is mental. I do have quite a bit of players like that. Smaller Rick. Definitely don't want to discard him, but. He's 100k, a little stinge bag. I'm coming for that Bellingham. <laughs> and I All also. Your objectives. Yeah, the objectives definitely don't want to discard them because they can be used. I have Noya, Delay. True, you got Noya. Everyone's fodder, mate. Noya's 50k, though. That's a lot fodder? in this. That's Are you a messing? Lot. What do you mean? That's a lot in this climate. You're a joke. All right, hit me. What? what? Left back. Okay. Who is that? I'm not telling you. Centre mid, right in the middle. Is that where your Bellingham was? Yeah. Is that where he is? No. I got. Everyone else stinks apart from Lee Dong Jun. You're big. Oh. He was left Get back. In Get in the bit, mate. And Heng Campy. <laughs> It's not even left doing it with you, Mr. Stinky Squads. What do you mean? Jude Bellingham, 820k? What was Hinkapi? 10k? <laughs> it's not even worth doing the discards. Tomorrow's was on Atani's channel. Goodbye.